My name is David, and this is Ianda Sebro Paracord Design. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make the third rail paracord bracelet. What you'll need for this is several different items. You'll need a chain. The one I'm using here, you can pick up if you live in the U.S. at Home Depot. I'm not sure if it is available outside of the United States, but that's entirely up to you. You can also check like any major hardware store or a uh, home improvement store like Home Depot, Lowe's, probably outside, you probably have something different. All right. You'll need about uh, four and a half to maybe six feet of cord. I have not yet completed this tutorial. You'll need uh, about uh, 10 to 12 uh, quarter inch hex nuts, two buckles, and a working jig. Uh, just keep in mind, the cord measurements are not accurate. I have yet to complete this. You'll need also like a scrap piece of cord to tie off the bottom temporarily until you finish the pattern up with the primary cord. This is, a, this is the center part, the chain, is going to serve as the core. The cords will uh, basically follow the weave. All right, let's begin. First, you want to, since I already started it, uh, because this one I think would be best not to start from the beginning, uh, you can take your cord. If you get this same exact chain, you'll want to bring it through the uh, loops because there are gaps in the cord on the sides like this that hold it all together. You want to basically uh, come through here and go through the top of the buckle, come up through the middle of the chain and bring your cords up through it. <coughs> Next, you want to take your cord ends and you want to bring, bring a hex nut and you want to bring the cords through you want to make sure you uh, put the cord. Uh, this you're gonna push the uh, you know push the uh, hex nut on a little bit. These ones are uh, perfect fit for the 550. You just gotta uh, get it on there first. You want to bring the first hex nut over. And you want to bring it up. You have like your cords right here. You want to bring the cord up from underneath into the uh, into the weave. You want to close that up. Make sure there's no kinks in it. You want to bring your cord through the loop that was created right here and then you want to take your cord loop it over like that like shown here tighten that up and close that off on that side then repeat the process for the same side that's going to follow the entire pattern all the way down Like I said before, you want to make sure you pull out any slack. Come on. You may need also a pair of pliers to cut the chain to the desired length that you want to get it for. Hmm. 
You want to make sure when you loop the cord over, you're staying to the outside. <coughs> Excuse me. You want to stay to the outside of the loop over. And you close it up. Then you want to repeat the process all the way through. You want to bring your two cords together again. And you come up right here in the next one here. You're going to bring both of those up through the center point. Making sure that both are underneath. You don't want to go to one side. Uh, making You want to make sure both are underneath from their respective sides. Yeah, like I said, you want to bring your tips through the hex nut. Make sure you pull all your slack out. Let's continue on. You're going to keep repeating the process all the way through till you get to the end. And once you get to the end, you'll take your, uh, like I said, I have a temporary cord on here right now so that I can hold it tight so that it works easier for me. You'll want to remove that off and you're going to use the last bit of the, uh, the cord that you have to finish it off at this end with uh, the same pattern at the top. Like I said, I did not complete this all the way through to remove the cord, so uh, stay with me and uh, enjoy the tutorial. Leave a comment, tell me what you think about it, and uh, I would appreciate it if you like and subscribe. Also, stay tuned for more tutorials in, in the meantime as well. Oh, shoot. Let me get back in frame here. I apologize about that. Make sure that you're... Oh, okay, yeah, that's right. Like I said... You can go with bigger hex nuts if you want, uh, but I decided to go with like the quarter inch hex nuts, the quarter 20 nuts. They fit perfectly on there and it, it, it keeps a clean design.
And this design also doubles on the other side as a uh, reverse. This is a good reversible design. So if you don't like the main side with the hex nuts, you can flip it over and the design is just as good. Apologize if I am quiet, continue through with the design, and you'll be finished in no time. Like I said before, check at any major uh, hardware store or find this, this, this style of chain online. I can't recall what the name of it is, though. So, yeah, hardware stores. You may also want to have like a pair of pliers and a uh, cutter for the chain. It does help. It helps a lot. And also as you go along, uh, if it becomes loose, tighten it up a little bit so that it's not slack. Let it uh, make sure it's nice and tight. And if you haven't already, help keep corporations out of the number one spot on YouTube and subscribe to PewDiePie.
Ah. <sighs> Yeah. <laughs> 
All right, now the last part. Let's see how we should go about this. This will be a little bit interesting to say the least. Uh, I might just uh, straight away go like, um, yeah, let's see. All right. Let me go ahead and take off the temporary cord I have uh, running through here. Because, again, uh, stick with about um, seven feet when creating this. Uh, okay. Let me take this off. Scratch the hex on that last one. Let's do... I think after you bring the cords over, after you bring them over, you go through the loop at the end, tighten it up as much as you can, and try and bring the cords up from underneath in the center of the cords that went over the top, top of the buckle and do a wrap around on them from there. That seems like a good idea for this pattern. Bring that through. Nah, that's not a good idea. Do like a uh, normal cobra for the end off. Make sure you're all nice and tight. That seems to be the best and most logical way to finish this off. Try, try your hand at other things and see how it works. If it doesn't, Start from scratch and I'm going to continue to work on this. Uh, I'll figure out something, but yeah, like uh, use your own imagination. If whatever you come up with is a good, good idea for it, try it out. I understand this is a little bit of a uh, it's 
it, it's a tad bit on the difficult side to figure something out for it that would be uh, beneficial to it. So, All right, I think I'll end this there. Uh, what I decided, loop over, 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 down through the middle, and back out the sides, and then take the, uh, the cords, put them through the bottom section where the loop is on the metal chain, and then cut and cinch from there. That should be the best way to go about this. That should give it a nice little uh, mushroom the heads, and it should be nice and tight and good to go from there. Uh, I will probably try and reassess the closing on this, so stay tuned for it. I'll probably just put it in a picture tutorial, and you guys can go from there. Thank you. My name is David. This is Ienda Seabro, Paracord Design. Thank you, and have a nice day.